Hey there, little sharks. It is the Inflatable Sea Line here, and today I'm going to be showing you my room for the second time. Yes, today is the 2017 room tour edition, and I'm so excited. Room tours are my absolute favorite video to film. Honestly, I put so much time into them. I always spend like two or more days just preparing and like getting ready to film and gathering footage and it is just so fun. I love it. So I hope you enjoy watching these as much as I enjoy making them. And I also apologize for the sort of shabby intro. I just totally forgot to like sit down and film an actual one. But yeah, that was kind of my bad. Like I spent over three hours filming and then totally forgot about probably the most important part. Whoops. But anyways, this is just a small portion of my room, the part that you're looking at now. I do have footage of every nook and cranny of my room and then I have just large general pictures at the end. So go ahead and skip to the end just to see pictures if you want. But if you have any questions about any of the items I show in this video, I do have a lot. A lot of them I've found at yard sales and stuff. They all have their own little backstory. Just comment below and ask me what's up, where I got it. Not a biggie. So let's get right into it. The shattered glass wall that runs all the way up the staircase was actually made by the artist that lived here before I did. So it's kind of a cool thing knowing that this room went from an artist right to another artist. This is my bed and it has a shark pillowcase and a shark duvet cover. It just makes it complete and just look at that pillow. A friend of my mom's actually made it for me out of some fabric that I bought. It is the coolest. This is my desk and it is complete with my three gallon fish tank and some other super awesome knickknacks. My absolute favorite things on my desk have to be my Nightmare on Elm Street 3 VHS tape. That is actually my favorite movie. And then also my Dia de los Muertos sugar skull dish. In this little storage bin kind of thing, I have one of my DS systems. And I know I'm pretty weird, but I have an obsession with those things. I have about five of them. I have some pens and markers. Most of them are on my art desk, but I have a few in here just for convenience. I have a few lip balms as well, a hand sanitizer at all times because I just have those everywhere. And then I have some remotes to my lights and stereo systems. On my shelf, I have my kind of cheap and tacky but rad skeleton skateboard. And then my favorite collection of all time, just my horror movie stuff. Oh my gosh, it's the bomb. I have my art wall, which isn't even complete yet. I have so many things I still need to hang up. And I will be competing in the fair again, so hopefully I can bring home even more ribbons this summer. I have some super neat and pretty pinatas from Urban Outfitters. Pinatas are like one of my most favorite things on the earth. I have my 10 gallon fish tank, a plasma lamp, which is an absolute necessity for me personally, and then some more stuff just all over my windowsill and blah, blah, blah. Next, I'll be showing you my record player, 
speaker system and all of my other music stuff. Here's one of my speakers and some of my vinyl records. And then I also have more records and a crap load of CDs and books hidden behind them. This is my HP Lovecraft poster. He is my favorite author of all time. If you haven't read some of his pieces already, you really, really should. And this is my Pokemon GameCube kind of thing. I hardly ever play it, but... I just love looking at it. This is a chandelier type thing that I got from Free People and that is just hanging right above my art desk. And this is my art desk right here. And I have a few projects that I'm currently working on. It's also smothered in Pokemon items. And then I have just this little random storage space slash display area. This is just the little area that leads right to my closet, which I just have a little simple white curtain just covering the entrance. These are my little glass jellyfish knickknacks. I got one for my grandmother and the other at a flea market. I purchased this monochrome American flag tapestry from Urban Outfitters and right beneath it I just hang up some of my hats, clothes, and other sort of belongings. On the far side of my room there lies my keyboard an old, old Coldplay poster, my dresser that just has a lot of personal things and books on it, stuff like that, holographic star pinatas that I also bought at Urban Outfitters, and the head of a pinata that was actually from my 16th birthday party. This is the area that I just finished describing, but there's also a seafoam colored ladder and a collage of Nicolas Cage's that my best friend Tyler made me for my birthday. The following images simply capture everything within my room in a general subject if you didn't really understand my voiceover and tiny little scenes. That's basically everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not part of the Shark Pro already, make sure to join us by clicking subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you little sharks.